So today we're going to look at Sirius and figure out if it's a burning ball of gas or a luminary in the firmament. And according to NASA, Sirius is over 20 times brighter than the Sun, located just outside the constellation Orion. So this is what Sirius looks like when you zoom in with an Nikon P1000. I've already edited this footage so it's centered in the frame and not moving across the screen, but normally what will happen is Sirius will be moving either left to right or straight across the screen depending on where it is in the night sky at the time. And so one thing you have to be careful about when you see these YouTube videos, in my opinion, on um, zooming on stars is, you know, this is what it looks like by default, the focal range on the Nikon P1000. And you'll see a lot of videos with stars looking like this. Um, a little bit larger in size and even expanded out with concentric circles or even just a straight blur but really I feel like you gotta bring that focus in as tight as possible and have it as small as possible to get it to be as focused and um, the most realistic picture of what these stars look like so as you see you know the stars twinkle and we'll, this will get magnified here in a second you kind of see how these things morph over time you know and so this is what I feel like Sirius looks like you know you can see the pulsating the changing of colors um, it's not quite the, the little you know ball light in the water that some of these um, flatter video show of stars um, you know when you talk about the luminaries you look at the biblical reference to the firmament you have you know the waters above the firmament when God separated the waters below from the waters above and then you place the luminaries in the firmament so if you subscribe to the flat or um, um, philosophy then you believe the earth is covered in a dome you know this is slowed down to 10 percent of regular speed so you can kind of see how um, much um, a star changes over time uh, and how quickly it does you know this is only 10 percent speed but you know these are in some kind of crystalline structure as the Bible says then you know that could be the causes for the change of shape and light um, from the blues to the reds you know even the greens over time um, you know it's coming through our atmosphere for one so that's causing some light refraction but also if it's in some kind of medium um, whatever that may be you know, that could be causing the color shifts as well you know we just don't know so it's just interesting to watch it kind of slow down to kind of take in you know how that light gets bent and changed and and morphs and whether or not it's just a pure element of refraction or if there's something else going on with these that we just don't understand or know and so um, one thing I've kind of discovered by accident in a different editing software was the fact that when you adjust like the level, background levels um, brighten them and just the contrast and either the gamma you notice some um, some strange you can call it like a wake as these things move through whatever they're moving through um, some, some residue but I mean there's definitely some disturbance outside the visible uh, light and color that we can see when we zoom in with um, a camera and obviously when we see with our eyes but you can kind of see um, whatever these particles or residue or wake is kind of trailing off from the star as it moves across the sky so it's um it's interesting kind of again this is kind of discovered this by um by chance just playing around with some settings and noticed the um this kind of background noise surrounding the stars as they move across the the night sky and so coming up we'll have this kind of broken cross in a, a split screen that kind of shows the original footage and then the zoomed in versions and then the versions that are adjusted for the background contrast so you can kind of see that this really isn't um that this disturbance or wake as it moves through the firmament as i like to believe then it's kind of isolated to the stars it's not just you know residual i don't know whatever you want to call it radiation that's ever present in the night skies it really is just localized to the stars themselves 
and hopefully I'll be able to do some similar videos looking at other stars and trying to track those and also comparing to what um, the planets do you know I've got some footage of um, Venus and Jupiter hoping to be able to shoot um, Jupiter in 4k and these are all shot in 4k um, as well which helps I think with the zooming in and this is looking at the extract uh, filter kind of changing everything to black and white so you can kind of get a good sense of what um, these things do without the distraction of the colors and so anyway I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this um, draw your own conclusions about what stars are and what they're doing and how they're moving and what they're moving through